To create a smart click action, either click on the small rectangle underneath click and select smart click. Alternatively, right click into the actions field and select mouse smart click. Or if the mac recorder program has focus, just press the hotkey S for smart click. You then get the configuration dialog. Now simply click at the desired position, like here on this web page. Marker Recorder captures the area around the mouse click and saves an image, as you can see in the preview. If you're not happy with the result, you can repeat it. Now let's configure the smart click. You can tell Marker Recorder where to look for the image, either in the currently focused program window or the entire desktop. But be aware that the entire desktop search is quite slow and very CPU heavy, so whenever possible you should stick with focused window. As you can see in the preview, there are slight color variations which come from the font smoothing. If you intend to run the macro on different computers or if you experience difficulties that macro recorder cannot find the image, you may need to experiment with the color tolerance. The other options should be self-explaining. Very important is the option if the image is not found. For example, if the remote control program does not behave as expected. In such case, you can jump to a specific section of the macro, like the next action, or you can restart or cancel the entire script. Of course, you can also enter any custom label you have defined in your script. Sometimes you cannot just click on the desired position, but you need to prepare it first. One example is a drop-down menu. To reach it, you need to click, and then you need to hover to the position. However, as you can see, there's a slight background which shows the current active selection. You eventually might not want this, so you have an option here. When the Smart Click configuration dialog is open, you can also press Space and you get instructions what to do next. First of all, you define the position of the click, which is fine in this example here. So I confirm this with another space. Now I can do additional adjustments. For example, I can move the cursor to another position to remove the hover effect from the position which shall be detected. I now press a final space to capture the actual bitmap. Of course, you can change the configuration for this click action with a double click.